Hi guys, and welcome back to Go Roughly Around the World. Greg and I are riding around the world with our German Shepherd Moxie on the back of my motorcycle in her canine moto cockpit, and we're doing it to raise $100,000 for the nonprofit Girl Up. We publish weekly episodes every Sunday where we share about what it's like to travel around the world with our big dog, so make sure you tune in. So today we want to talk about how to make the best espresso, not coffee, espresso, at the campsite and in the outdoors. Now why would you want to have an espresso at the campsite or in the middle of the day during a hike? If we have to answer that, then <laughs> you're probably watching the wrong video. <laughs> now we've tried the two top products that we're aware of out there on the market. The Nanopresso and the Outen Portable Electric Espresso Maker. It's a mouthful. Nanopresso sounds better, but in our opinion, the Outen is the better product. And so that's what we're going to talk about today because that's what we use. The Outen comes with its own carrying case. We don't use it because with space at such a premium for motorcycle travel, you need everything compressed down as small as possible. We like the sock not only because it does keep everything together and looks fantastic, it also absorbs excess moisture throughout the day so that the unit is dry. So basically, you just pull it off and we bring our, our mugs, our Go Roughly Around the World mugs. So here we have the Outen unit, pretty straightforward. You have your water well up here with a top. You have your on button, because it's battery powered, which is great. Your charging port, USB-C. You place the coffee shot down here. And this is a handy repository for your brewed coffee. Espresso, not coffee. So the water well for the Outen is up here at the top. We like to use HydraPak uh, soft bottles and flasks for our water use because as it gets used, it gets smaller. Even better than this 500 milliliter stow is the new Flux Plus because the filter is built in. So if you're taking water from a stream, from a river, it's gonna be clean. So the Outen is electric, so of course step one has to be to charge the unit. It has a waterproof or at least water resistant flap on the back, USB-C, and you do have to make sure that you use one of those smart chargers that's uh, like three amps or at least two amps, uh, not the like Apple ones for the iPhone because it won't charge it up. Step number two is to put your coffee in. Now the Outen does work with those Keurig pods. Mm -hmm. We obviously don't use them. We're riding around the world. You don't find those pods everywhere. They're hard to carry. And part of the fun is to find coffees in the different regions you go through and compare and become a snob and a connoisseur. Basically, uh, you've got this unit here. This top filter piece comes off. You've got your shot right here. There is a little bit extra that's going to come out. That's fine because that is your offering to the gods, <laughs> right? What comes from the earth goes back to the earth. So you tamp it down just like that. Keep it clean. That's why you've got your rag, because it can get just a little bit messy. But once you've got that done, you put the uh, unit back on the top here, this filter piece, and then it sits in its well. This well then screws right into the bottom of the outlet. So the next step is to put the water into the well at the top. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got our Flux Plus, so our water is nice and clean. There's three different lines in here and you really do need to be sure not to fill it beyond the max because if you do it can bubble up and shoot this top right up into the air not really it's not lethal or dangerous in any way but it will it will overflow and, and boil and this will pop off and then it's not going to work so there's two ways to use the out first of all you're going to want to check your battery level one second press or just a simple tap and you're going to see that we're pretty much at a full battery a two second press and the Outen is going to heat the water for you. So it's got an internal temperature gauge, it's gonna heat it up to a boil, and once it hits that point, it will automatically uh, begin to brew the coffee, right? The other option is to put hot water in already from the beginning. You're gonna do about a four second press, so past the two second, and now we're just gonna go ahead and brew. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. So that is by far the best and most efficient way to use this in terms of the battery. Outen says that if you put basically room temperature or cold, cold water in there, you're going to get four brews. Eh, our experience is closer to two yeah. and a half or three. Mm -hmm. 
so it is a much better way to go to heat the water on your camp stove if you can and then and then let this just do the brewing for you. But then if you do have it fully charged in the middle of the day, you can use cool water that you're that you've been carrying with you and then you can have a hot espresso wherever you are. Right. And that's key, right? Any other unit that we found out there, you're going to have to always put in the hot water. It also does a cold brew, right? How does that work? That works just the same as doing your four count. So we're going to go past the two to the four. With cool water. And it can be with cold water. Okay. Our experience is, our experience is that it's not as strong. But yeah, you don't have to wait. You don't have to have hot water. If what you're really going for is just a sort of caffeine pick-me-up, do a cold brew and you're good to go. So we've talked about the key point, which is the out, and that's the unit that's making the espresso. But we've got a little bonus trick here that we've come up with. So we really love these Hydropack soft flasks and stoves, right? They're intended for water, but we've come up with some creative uses, and one of them is for powders. So we keep our coffee creamer in one of these soft flasks. This is a 250 milliliter, and basically this top, which is generally a squeeze top, you can pull that piece out and you have a shaker, just like that. <laughs> Great way to store your, your creamer. As it's used up, the bottle gets smaller. So that's how you make a barista level espresso at the campsite or during any of your outdoor activities. One quick final shout out for the mugs. So we make mugs at roughly, this is the My Pup Goes Camping mug. You give your photo, we turn it into artwork and then put it wrap around on your enamel mug. If you love what we're doing with Go Roughly Around the World, the Go Roughly Around the World mug is available too. I hope you guys found this video really informative so that you can make your own espresso at your bike, on the road, or at a campsite. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube and at Go Roughly for Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Talk to you soon.